Hey folks, Crazy Climber 80 here again. And it's time we're going to look at game number 11 in our 20 from 1991 series. This is a scrolling beat em up created by Data East, and it has Marvel Comics characters uh, Vision, Iron Man, Captain America, and Hawkeye. And this is called Captain America and the Avengers. And uh, I don't really like games with small sprites normally, and this has them. But there's a number of things that really compensate for that. And I guess maybe some cabinets you can play four player simultaneous play. Um, it shows four player simultaneous play in this uh, attract mode eventually. But uh, I couldn't play that in the uh, emulated uh, game in MAME. Maybe there were some cabinets that just had two-player simultaneous play and some that had four-player simultaneous play. Uh, this game has life units represented by digits. And that was in some, some games around this time. Um, each credit that you put in gives you 100 credits. So you can add uh, or put in extra quarters or whatever and each one of those will give you an extra 100 uh, life units. I would recommend at least uh, a couple credits <laughs> to start you off. Your characters are, are incredibly nimble and agile. Uh, because they're small, you can cover all of the playing field jumping around and uh, you can jump all the way from like one edge of the screen to the other with like one jump. And while you're airborne, you can do a special attack. You can also do a sliding attack or a dashing attack. And you can do a, a projectile attack. Hawkeye. It's really awesome the things that you can do. Use all of these to your advantage because the enemy is very good at getting the drop on you. And some of your attacks, they will definitely avoid you cannot and there's the big bad of the game the red skull he will be the last uh, boss of the game sorry for a little bit of glitching right there that sometimes happens when I record with bandicam but I have to record with bandicam because the uh, uh, recording through MAME the file will be way too big to upload plus sometimes the uh, the resolution Avenger. isn't so great if I just uh, record it then uh, use Format Factory or something. But uh, I remember seeing this in arcades for sure. And here is the uh, four-player simultaneous play. And like I said, I can't seem to uh, play, play that in uh, MAME. Or maybe I just had the wrong ROM. And uh, there will be a number of enemies that will shoot some sort of uh, uh, rope or something at you that grabs onto you, or a cable or something, and they are really annoying. So get out of the way of their uh, attack. Any enemy that shoots a projectile, get the hell out of the way. But like I said, your characters are so nimble, it's awesome. Uh, you can jump, like I said, from far away and all the way to the other side of the screen with just one jump. You can move backwards and forwards in midair, and you can fire a projectile or some sort of a dive attack while in midair. You just have great controls in this game. And there's a little bit of comic book-like story uh, in between the stages. And there are five stages, and in the last stage, you will fight Red Skull at the end. There will be cameos by a number of uh, notable Marvel Comics villains or uh, supporting heroes. And we'll go ahead and get started. We're going to uh, use uh, Vision here. There will be all sorts of weapons that you can pick up. You can pick up rocks, pick up cans of coke and here is Vision using his uh, projectile attack in midair and to do that you just press the attack button at the height of your jump 
if you press the attack button before you reach the height of your jump, you could do a dive attack. Some characters are better at doing a combination when close to the to an enemy. <laughs> Excuse me. When doing a combination attack when close to an enemy, you might be able to uh, grab them and pick them up over your head. And if that happens, then you just throw them at other enemies. Yeah, you can lift all sorts of really heavy objects, and I think every character can do that. We are not going to face a oh, whirlwind quite yet. Here we will face the... Uh, <laughs> some of the English is bad. Here we will face the uh, mini-bosses, the Living Laser and Claw. And I've seen uh, both of these guys in uh, various... Uh, iterations of Marvel Comics, like either in the comic books or uh, in uh, cartoons. One of my favorite uh, animated uh, uh, comic book adaptations is uh, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes. It is a fantastic uh, series. But yeah, use whatever projectiles you can to your advantage. These guys are fairly easy. But they, even the even the easy bosses, if you're not paying attention to what you're doing, they can sometimes be a handful. Like I said, yeah, enjoy the uh, the great. Uh, well, maybe I kind of exaggerated when I say you can jump from one edge of the screen to the other, but it's you're still really really nimble. Use that to your advantage for sure. And there was uh, Quicksilver, the uh, brother of uh, the Scarlet Witch and son of uh, Magneto, and he will drop off a shield or some some icon that says P on it. And because his uh, name is Pietro Maximov, uh, but that will give you uh, 20 life units back when you collect it. He doesn't appear much in the game, so there aren't very many opportunities to get your uh, energy back. But yeah, when you're standing on the ground, you can press attack and jump together, and you will do some sort of projectile attack. And if you can get into a corner where your back is against the wall and enemies can't get behind you, that might be a good place to stand. You do not seem to be timed in this game. Maybe you are, but you get a lot of time uh, just standing around and fighting enemies. So uh, use it to your advantage. Find a safe spot where you can attack enemies uh, when they come to you and uh, use the time to your advantage. Get those, uh, get those uh, oil drums or whatever those whenever you can. You can uh, really put the hurt on your enemies. Watch out for those big uh, robots there. They can grab you and put the hurt on you. And yeah, if you do a... Uh, if you jump towards an enemy and press you the attack button, and here's Whirlwind. You will be the one escaping! Um, yeah, there... If you do a jump towards an enemy and before you get to the height of your jump, press the attack button, you can do some sort of dive attack, which is useful. Yeah, Whirlwind is a pain in the ass, kind of. When he when he turns into his uh, Whirlwind, then he can be a, a pain. But other than that, he's really not very hard at all. Just don't try to do a combination against him. Usually, uh, he'll be able to withstand it and hurt you. I hate him when he's his uh, Whirlwind form. He's pretty easy. The Avenger. And that is the end of stage one. I didn't lose much energy, fortunately. Yeah, I'd say that uh, for sure, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes is my favorite uh, Marvel Comics show. Avengers Assemble! Uh, some of the animated uh, Guardians of the Galaxy 
uh, shows weren't too bad. My favorite uh, DC Comics shows were uh, Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. Yeah, stay out of the way of the uh, enemies that throw or shoot uh, projectiles. Yeah, trying to, trying to get close to an enemy to do a combination and then uh, be able to grab them, it's pretty risky. A lot of enemies will fight you while you're trying to, trying to get close to them. So I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't rely on that too much. And now we're going to do a uh, flying scene. And you, every character that's in a flying scene gets to shoot some sort of projectile. Yeah, I remember seeing this, I think, in a number of places, and I think the first place I saw it was a nickel arcade. Yeah, I, I used to really hate uh, games that made, that uh, had the characters as very small sprites. And uh, there was a game I remember called uh, Crime Fighters. I really didn't like it for that reason, but plus the, it just wasn't a very good game. It was a rare Konami total misfire. And here we can collect uh, the Wasp, uh, Janet Van Dyne. One of, one of the usual Avengers, uh, wife of uh, Hank Pym, uh, Giant Man or Ant-Man, and she acts as not really a shield because she can still get hurt, but she can uh, destroy whatever, whatever enemy or projectile that she touches. So she is still useful, but you just have to know how to use her. Decent music, uh, decent, pretty good graphics, really. Um, you definitely get the feel of the uh, Marvel characters. And here is a uh, Sentinel. They call it a giant robot, but it's clearly, uh, well, maybe it isn't a Sentinel. Kind of looks like one from the uh, X Men comics. Try not to be right in front of him for very long because he can grab you and put the hurt on you. But you can shoot him on pretty much anywhere on his body. Just keep it up until he's destroyed. It, see, it just looks so weird for one of the Avengers to be carrying around a can of Coke and then throwing it at the enemy. I don't know that it's a can of Coke, probably just some sort of soda, but the, by the colors of it, it's supposed to be like Coke. Yeah, the guys that that shoot the, uh, the cables out at you or whatever that electrify you or strangle you, they're really annoying. Definitely make use of those uh, oil barrels. One of the uh, most remembered uh, parts of this game uh, by gamers that that were uh, active at arcades in the 90s, and I hate those guys too. Um, when your character dies, he yells, I can't move! <laughs> hey, there's Quicksilver again. Gave me some uh, energy back. Yeah, make, try to make use of all these uh, oil barrels if you can. Yeah, those flying uh, enemies don't stick around very long. And here's another boss. This is uh, the Grim Reaper. You came here to die. The uh, Avenger uh, Wonder Man. This is his brother. Uh, the Grim Reaper was in uh, uh, the Avengers World's Greatest Heroes, or Earth's Mightiest Heroes, 
and he was uh, portrayed by Lance Henriksen. He did a great job. <laughs> if you've never seen that cartoon, I really recommend it. If you can, if you can do the jump and projectile attack towards an enemy or towards a, a boss or mini boss with consistency, do so. Yeah, once he gets up, try to move away uh, just in case he tries to throw a fireball in your direction. And yeah, he's, he can't be stopped when he's uh, doing his blade attack or his blade charge or whatever you want to call it. Ouch. The Grim Reaper was kind of a henchman for uh, Baron Strucker, if memory serves. I was never huge into comic collecting, but through the uh, Avengers Earth's the Mightiest Avengers. Heroes uh, TV series, I was able to uh, learn about some of those characters. Yeah, once you can get used to how nimble your characters are and all of their attacks, you can uh, you, you can really really start to get into this game. And yeah, anytime you can back yourself into a corner where enemies can't sneak up behind you, uh, take your time picking off enemies from there, because uh, the timer is. I I don't know that there's any penalty for. For loitering. I hope your uh, your week's going okay. Hope you had a good uh, 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 Valentine's Day. If that has any meaning for you, it it doesn't. Me, I don't. I don't really care about that. I don't, don't have a girlfriend right now, or or uh, not married. Don't have kids, or none of that stuff. Doesn't bother me. I'm super busy with things. I'm worrying about trying to get my house paid off. Doing doing pretty good with that right now. Still got like uh, 66,000 left uh, to pay off my mortgage. And now we're going to We're gonna have to fight this guy named the Wizard, and I don't know who he is. I'm not familiar with this guy from the comics. It's not to not to be confused with the Weather Wizard from uh, DC Comics. But uh, once you beat him, then you uh, go underwater, and you will see a cameo from Namor the Submariner. This will be another uh, shooting stage. Uh, Vision, at least, seems to be very good at uh, reaching over and grabbing an enemy when you do a combo up close to them. And there's Namor. Yeah. Namor does not make any more appearances in the game. He's only there very briefly. Go down to the way bottom and shoot enemies on the floor immediately because uh, they will shoot a projectile that, projectile that scatters and it can be very difficult to avoid. There will also be mines. Uh, unlike some beat-em-ups with uh, digital uh, or digits for uh, life, it does not tick down just by uh, you know, moving around in a stage. And uh, I neglected to continue here. You gotta move the uh, joystick, I think, left and right to be able to choose your uh, Avenger once you put uh, credits in. And I'll put my initials in. You will get graded on how well you did. 
uh, once your initials are put into the high score list. And I got fourth place. That shows how many uh, credits you put in. Not bad. <laughs> That's how I did. But uh, we will see, at the very least, uh, clips of the rest of the stages. Yeah, uh, we're going to play as Iron Man. And his real name is Tony Stark. Say, a uh, inventor, uh, makes, makes a number of military-type suits. Robotic suits, and we face this uh, giant octopus, this robotic octopus, trying not to get grabbed by his arms. Move around so that you don't uh, don't get grabbed. And it is called a mech taco, and not taco like a, uh, a Mexican dish or Mexican food item. But it's supposed to be spelled T-A-K-O, which is Japanese for octopus. And we'll see uh, the special moves by uh, Iron Man. But yeah, use that whole playing field to your advantage. And now we're seeing uh, enemies jump because they're expecting me to do some sort of uh, projectile attack, perhaps. Yeah, pressing... Again, pressing... Uh, jump and attack at the same time does a nice projectile attack. Now whereas the Vision and uh, Iron Man do a projectile downward shot when you fire uh, or when you press fire at the height of your jump um, Hawkeye and Captain America just do a special dive attack. Use uh, use big explosive type of projectiles to uh, to your advantage. You can destroy uh, uh, things that you can throw on accident. Don't do that. <laughs> Make use of them. And we're gonna scoot forward to one of uh, Iron Man's more memorable foes, the Mandarin. He was a uh, recurring enemy in, uh, I think it was, there was an Iron Man cartoon of the 90s. I don't really know anything about him. Here he creates some clones, and the clone will dash at you. Music here seems a little weird to me. I changed a little bit for the better here. <laughs> yeah, we're just we're just gonna scoot forward to uh, various points in the game. There we go. You cannot beat me. <laughs> uh, just about every villain in Ur uh, Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes series was was great and and had a great uh, voice actor or actress. And here is uh, scene four: the giant laser cannon. And we're going to do another flying uh, sequence. Yeah, those those uh, large enemies that, that like to grab you are really annoying, so don't get close to them. It's, yeah, it's weird to see uh, common 
common items being thrown by an Avenger like a like a can of Coke or a or a wrench. Yeah, try not to try not to accidentally destroy these projectiles. Make use of them. Although uh, the enemies will often try to avoid getting hit. I like to just try to jump around the whole playing field trying to get trying to use my downward downward projectile attack uh, from when you oops I can't move from when you do a jump and then at the height of your jump press attack that's my favorite one to do although if I'm on the ground and I, there's an enemy that I don't think will move away I will also do the uh, jump and attack projectile Yeah, that that jump and dive when you when you press uh, attack during your jump before you get the, to the height of your jump that seems to work pretty well against a lot of enemies. And here is the Juggernaut, pretty pretty small looking in this game. He likes to do a lot of uh, charge attacks, but he's really he's really not that hard. Kind of surprising for a guy that's that's so so tough in the uh, oh, excuse me in the X Men cartoons and comics. He's like almost as strong as the Hulk. Yeah, I watched I watched plenty of the X Men cartoon in the 90s. I really enjoyed it. Won uh, several Emmys. There will sometimes be walls that you need to uh, attack three times before they break. Yeah, that guy with the big old shield, he will block, I think, all your projectile attacks. But he's not very good in uh, close-up combat, so you can go right up to him and usually nail him with a with a quick combo, and he'll be knocked down. There's Captain America, and he's got the big old shield that he uses as a projectile attack when you press and jump and attack together. Where is the laser? At the police. And there is Ultron. He was created by uh, Hank Pym, uh, the Wasp's husband, and uh, he, uh, uh, ended up being evil. He gained a mind of his own and it turned out to be bad. Yeah, he's, he's very nimble and he'll do a number of uh, flying attacks towards you. Just keep moving, get out of the way. And when he stops uh, flying at you, maybe do some, uh, some of your uh, standing projectile attack. I thought it was done really well. Uh, th that that attack is it's very uh, rare that he does that type of attack. I thought it was done very well in the uh, Avengers Age of Ultron, was it called? I can't move. We'll scoot forward. Now we're going to have Hawkeye. And, of course, he's going to use uh, arrows. Oops. Hey, I thought he was dead. It's going to look like sometimes like their uh, life bar is out, but there will be like a sliver left, and they'll still attack you. Now we have to uh, destroy the laser cannon. Or, uh, then, uh, then take out the red skull. Yeah. Avengers assemble! Another uh, shooting scenario. You can hold down 
the fire button and for some reason uh, your Avenger will have a different pose but they won't they won't shoot there is no uh, rapid fire uh, shot in this game, unfortunately. You have to keep bashing the button to, to shoot repeatedly. I was clumsy there. By this point, I put on a, an infinite energy cheat. See, it says max. And there is the wasp again. Yeah, and again, she's not like a shield like you have invincibility. You can just guide her into to enemies to destroy them. You have to shoot this uh, laser cannon here repeatedly. You won't be able to destroy it on the way down, I don't think. But you will land and you'll be able to uh, destroy it then. About the only uh, Valentine's Day uh, uh, thing I do is... I might watch uh, My Bloody Valentine the movie, <laughs> not the uh, not the remake, but the uh, 1981 original. I've always liked that movie. I remember seeing it on uh, HBO in the early to mid 80s. It just scared the piss out of me back then. But we'll just scoop forward to this part. We slide down this long uh, area here, down to a lower area eventually have to take on crossbones but first we have to take out a couple of uh, guards here control guards while there's uh, buzz saws go moving along the floor yikes <laughs> I guess maybe you can destroy the buzz saws if you hit them enough. Let's go for it. And now we face crossbones. There was my uh, dash attack. Again, you can press left or right twice quickly, and then attack, and you'll do a uh, do some sort of dash attack. We'll see the other characters' uh, dash attacks. He's got these mines that move about. You can actually pick up the mines and throw that at them at him, hopefully before they explode. You can also throw the desk. Uh, crossbones, I don't know much about him. I think I might have seen him in like a couple of... Uh, I think there was a series called Avengers Assemble that he might have been in. Like some sort of assassin with a multitude of weapons at his disposal. We'll just scoot forward to me beating him. But even after you beat him, you can still get hurt by his projectiles. <laughs> like there. Unless you have uh, infinite energy cheat. And now we've got Red Skull here. Getting sucked up by some sort of uh, teleportation tube, I guess. Otherwise, that was a really high jump. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to our next uh, 1991 time capsule. That'll be with the next video. And now we face Red Skull. He does have a jump attack, so don't think he's completely uh, worthless or he can't hurt you. Excuse me, I'm getting tired. It's been a crazy busy work week. It's another trap. You stupid men. <laughs> oh. We'll teach you the meaning of justice. 
And now he has this giant robot that you have to destroy. It's not super hard, just watch out for his uh, rotating orbs. Um, and do your long attack when he's doing his, uh, his uh, uh, machine gun. You can stand at a certain distance and just pull off multiple uh, uh, projectile attacks. Just try to avoid his, his hurricanes and his uh, rotating ball attack. He sometimes has a uh, uh, like a giant laser attack. Ouch. <laughs> Good thing I have infinite energy. And he will take out the Red Skull for you. You will fall back and destroy him. And now we will see the ending to... Uh, uh, Captain America and the Adventures. And there is a cameo by Wonder Man, although I don't think we could see his face. He was another Avenger, and he again, he's the brother of the Grim Reaper. And I think he was romantically involved with... Uh, was it Wasp for a while? The ending to uh, Captain America and the Avengers is, is kind of long. We gotta see the uh, the credits and a little uh, closing story here. The uh, audio at the end here might not be synced up perfectly. Sometimes that happens when you record by Bandicam and and uh, run it through the editing process. <laughs> That is Captain America and the Avengers, released by Daddy East in 1991. And yeah, I'm not a big fan of small sprite characters, but there's so much that compensates for that. It's well worth playing. It's really a cool game. Yeah, my my brothers uh, definitely remembered the line, I can't move, and they would sometimes quote it. <laughs> <laughs> Had to get one more cheesy laugh in, didn't he? I uh, I read a little bit of the comic book at the time. Um, I was working uh, eh, shortly after this uh, came out. I was working at. Uh, uh, department store and they had a, a comic book section and I would read uh, some of the comics yeah I would I would prefer uh, the enemies that can shoot projectiles when you're jumping when you're at the height of your jump, like Iron Man and uh, Vision. Excuse me. Although I'm sure that Captain America and uh, Hawkeye have their have their uh, uh, pluses as well. But me personally, I prefer Iron Man and Vision. And again, don't forget that you can put in multiple credits and you will get 100 uh, life units for each of them when you press start. Now I would imagine you, you max out at like 999. Depending on the enemy, you can have like maybe a few units taken off or, or maybe a whole bunch with one attack. That is 
Captain America and the Avengers. They never say the full title. They never say Captain America and the Avengers. They just say the Avengers. There's Captain America, Iron Man, Captain America, Vision. Iron Man. Yeah, they're they're a little behind this. Uh, Vision. This is uh, not synced up perfectly. Hawkeye. There's uh, Quicksilver there, and there's Wonder Man. And Wasp. And Submariner. And a group photo of with some other characters in there. I don't know who they are. It's Captain America and the Avengers by Daddy East. We will see a little bit the of Avengers of all the characters doing all their moves. And you can put in lowercase initials if you want. And I don't remember what I did. I think I pressed down when I was in the uh, uh, letter selection screen to go to lowercase. I think it's funny when that plays when you when you've got a game over when you let your character die. <laughs> the Avengers will always be there. Well. No, they won't. They died. <laughs> and this time I am ranked a superhero. And now we're going to see uh, all the characters and their uh, and their all their abilities. The combo attack, their jump, and uh, projectile attack at the height of their jump. Um, their regular standing projectile attack. And their uh, dash attack. Yeah, just doing a regular dash towards an enemy doesn't really do anything, I don't think. Other than running into them and getting knocked around. <laughs> and then we see uh, uh, Hawkeye and uh, Captain America here. But uh, this was game number 11 in our 20 from 1991 series, and it is Captain America and the Avengers, created by Daddy East in 1991. Well, I thank you for watching. Hope you join me soon for game number 10 when we will see our second 1991 time capsule. Y'all have a good one, everybody. Bye bye.